In this supplemental video, we provide a brief overview of some of the interactive capabilities of our visualization system. The interface itself is split into three main components. A 3D remote renderer, which shows the physical locations of halos and particles, a quantitative view, which shows the statistical distributions of data selections, and a merger tree view, which shows a visualization of halo mergers in a tree-like structure. In the merger tree view itself, individual halos are represented as nodes and are drawn as points. When two or more halos merge, we connect these events using edges to generate a tree-like visualization. The user can select a number of different parameters to map to either axis to highlight various patterns. In this particular example, the vertical axis represents velocity while the horizontal axis represents time. To reduce clutter, Users can also select a subset of trees to investigate further. These trees are initially highlighted in a separate color and can then be isolated from the rest of the dataset. This result can be explored even further by selecting a single tree of interest and isolating the corresponding particles in the 3D view. Selections can also be made in the 3D view as well. This, in turn, displays the selected particles in white and isolates corresponding trees in the merger tree view. Additional statistical information about the selection is presented in the quantitative view. In this case, a scatter plot of velocity versus distance from halo center is shown. In this next example, a user scrolls through a list of anomalous tidal disruption events that have been pre-identified by domain scientists. The third disruption in the list is chosen, causing corresponding particles in the 3D view to be isolated. Their structure can be further explored by adjusting view parameters. Adjusting a time step slider at the bottom of the interface allows users to view the evolution of the halo through time. This final clip shows an alternate rendering designed to highlight the complex filament-like structures produced by dark matter simulations. Such a view provides a different perspective that cannot easily be seen from a standard point-based representation. Overall, by providing a diverse set of visualization and analysis tools, we hope to aid researchers in exploring their rich datasets and facilitate new scientific discoveries.